Welcome to this video demonstration of Steepest Ascent's LTE block set. The LTE block set works in conjunction with Steepest Ascent's LTE toolbox from MATLAB to provide a comprehensive set of tools for LTE physical layer design, simulation and verification. This interactive graphical platform presents the complex LTE physical layer in a controlled and accessible fashion to accelerate LTE physical layer design and test. The LTE Toolbox and Block Set are part of a family of wireless and mobile simulation libraries offered by Steepest Descent, including EVDO, DVB ISDB, HSPA, and CDMA 2000. This demonstration shows how we can use the LTE Block Set to analyze the performance of a receiver. First, we will create a test waveform using the test model generator, pass it through a fading channel, synchronize and demodulate the waveform, and equalize the received symbols using an estimate of the channel. To analyze the performance of the receiver, we will decode the downlink shared channel, or DLSCH, to assess the overall throughput as well as visualizing some signals. Shown now is the system in Simulink used for our simulation, including the transmitter, channel, channel estimation and equalization, and PDSCH demodulation and DLSCH decoding for analysis. I will now explain each component in more detail. The RMC generator tool is used to generate an LTE standard compliant OFDM modulation waveform and resource grid. This tool can easily be configured to generate all RMC specified in the standard. The generated waveform contains all the required channels such as the PDSCH, control data, primary and secondary synchronizing signals and cell specific reference signals. In this demo we will generate waveform R5 which uses 64 quam modulation, code rate 3 quarters and has a bandwidth of 3 MHz. Next the modulated waveform is transmitted over a fading channel. Within the LTE block set, all the channel models described in the LTE standard are available. In this case, we are using extended vehicular A model with a maximum Doppler frequency of 70 Hz and medium antenna correlation at the receivers. Two receive antennas will be used, therefore our receiver will use receive diversity to combine these signals. Additive white Gaussian noise is then added to the waveform at an SNR of 25 dB. The receive waveform is synchronized to compensate for the delay caused by the fading channel and then OFDM demodulated to recover the resource grid. At this time, the grid is faded due to the propagation channel and needs to be equalized. We equalize the channel effect by estimating the channel and using this estimate to correct the received resource grid. The algorithm used to estimate the channel interpolates between the channel values obtained using cell-specific reference signals. This creates a matrix which represents the channel's impact on the transmitted resource grid. To recover the transmitted bits in the downlink share channel, we first perform PDSCH demodulation. This includes deep recoding layer demapping, symbol demodulation, and descrambling. Next, DLSCH decoding is performed, and the block CRC is used to deduce the number of blocks in error and the overall throughput, which is shown as a percentage of the maximum possible throughput. If we run the simulation, we can see the throughput changing on a subframe by subframe basis. We will now visualize some signals within the receiver to illustrate the effect of channel equalization. The signal received on the first antenna will be blue, and the signal received on the second antenna will be red. The signal after equalization will be shown as black. The plot on the left shows the simple constellation. This simulation setup has a relatively low noise, but a channel which is quite frequency selective and time varying. The red and blue constellations are extremely distorted by this channel, but the black constellation can clearly be seen as 64 quam. The plot on the right shows the magnitude of the frequency response of the channel in location of the reference signals. This clearly shows the frequency selectivity and time variation of the channel. The equalised response in black is almost always flat except in some cases where a deep fade occurs at the same point in frequency and time for both receive antennas. When this occurs, the equalisation fails and the throughput is reduced. This demonstration showed how Steep Sense LTE block set can be used to assess aspects of LTE system performance. The ease of use and quality of documentation make the LTE block set a powerful simulation tool. The LTE Toolbox and Block Set is one of several simulation libraries available from Steep's Ascent. For more information on the LTE Block Set or any of our other products and services, please contact us or visit us at the booth. Thank you for watching.